Hey guys, it's the Crazy Candle Lady Summer. Um, today I ended up participating in the Bath & Body Works sale. Um, the candles were on sale for $12.95, which is so much better than $16.50 or whatever when it's, I think, only like $10 off. Um, they have raised the prices on the candles, which I honestly think is ridiculous. Um, I'll be honest, I am more of a Goose Creek fan than I am of Bath & Body Works, although I do love Bath & Body Works. I really love, you know, their body wash. I love their hand soaps, which I use constantly. Um, it's just their candles are becoming more on the pricier side. Um, Goose Creek always has so many sales, which is amazing. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll always love Goose Creek. Um, but I did participate in the sale today of the $12.95 of the Bath & Body Works candles. Um, I only ended up purchasing four, so nothing too crazy, nothing too big. Um, Christmas is literally a week away from now, um, so I'm not trying to spend too much money because uh, I did, you know, have to go Christmas shopping and <sighs> I went a little crazy on gifts for people and my family and... Yeah, but, you know, it's Christmas and that's what people tend to do. Um, they really want to get their family something that they either really wanted or, you know, whatever. Just make their family happy. Um, but, of course, Christmas is mostly the time for just being with family, celebrating with your family, and also celebrating um, God or yeah, Jesus Christ, I should say. Um, but yeah, anywho, let's get started. So one of the ones I ended up getting, um, finally, I was actually in stores a couple weeks ago and I was thinking about this one. Um, but yeah, it's red velvet cupcake. I honestly really love the packaging on this. I love plaid. Um, I think it's super, super nice, especially red and black plaid. Um, I think it is really nice. And I think it has, no, that's a silver lid. <laughs> it, it almost looked gold, but I'm like, you know what? It's a silver lid. Um, anywho, the scent notes are lush red velvet cake with cream cheese, frosting, sweet vanilla, with, of course, natural essential oils. This, honestly, to me, I think it smells really good. I definitely get the cream cheese smell, um, along with the red velvet cake. To be honest, I'll be 100% honest with you guys. <sighs> Red Velvet Cake is honestly my absolute favorite. Every birthday that I have ever had in my life, I have always asked for a Red Velvet Cake. Um, if, you know, I didn't get a Red Velvet Cake, that was totally fine. I love vanilla. I like chocolate. I'm not picky whatsoever, so I'll eat whatever, you know, people give me. Or, But yeah, um, that one smells really good. Now, the next one I ended up getting is Merry Maple Pancakes. I was curious about this. I've heard some reviews on this. Some people have said that it doesn't smell like pancakes. Um, but you know what? I was willing to give it a try. Um, scent notes is fresh berries with maple syrup and cinnamon sugar. Okay, I definitely smell berries. Yeah, I smell berries and with some maple in the background. It doesn't smell like the maple syrup that, you know, is just pure maple. It smells mostly like, you know how like sometimes you go to restaurants and there's different like maple syrups to choose from, like different um, flavors. This one smells like Mary, you know, Ma Mary Maple Pancakes. You smell the berries, except it's blackberry. 
syrup or something like that. Like, I don't know. That's what I smell like a kind of like a sweet, but yet a hint of tart syrup. At least that's what I smell. Call me crazy, but that's, that's the notes that I'm smelling as of right now. Um, another one I ended up getting is spiced cranberry toffee. I know, um, finally, I know that this is one of their fall scents, but you know what? That's totally fine. Um, this one does have a beautiful, you know, packaging. The lid is gorgeous. I love the leaves on it. Um, the scent note in spiced cranberry toffee is rich toffee with fresh cranberries swirled with caramel. Yeah, I smelled this in stores. I like picked it up and then I set it down, walked around, smelt more candles. Cause I'm like, do I really need this one? But then I'm like, you know what? I gotta grab it and I'm glad I did because it honestly, I think it smells really good. I definitely kind of get like the toffee smell in the background. Definitely the cranberries, but like the toffee is sitting there in the background and it smells really good. I also like the color of the wax. It's kind of like a burnt orange color. I like that. It matches the um, packaging as well. It's perfect. So those are the three I ended up getting myself. My hubby, um, he was actually in stores with me today. He wanted to get the scent. Um, fresh cut lilacs. Yes, it is girly packaging, but who gives a damn? Um, he said he wanted this, so I ended up getting it for him as a Christmas present as well. Um, he said he really liked the smell of this because he's more of like a... He really loves more of like the outdoorsy candles along with like the flower, like the flowery scents, like the floral. Um, I'm more, as you can see, foodie smell. Like I love the foodie smells. I love, I even love some of the floral smells, but not as much as him. Although I'm, you know, becoming there. But this one, honestly, like smells super, super strong very floral you get the it's called fresh cut lilacs you definitely get the um like the dewy green smell you get the almost like yeah like the spring air it smells good it smells like so the sorry the scent notes is lilac bouquets with dewy greens and soft spring air so yeah it smells like you're in a field of lilacs okay you're I don't know let's say you're on a picnic you grab a whole bunch with your hand of just lilacs and you grab it and you have a bouquet in your hand and it's freshly picked but yet you smell the flowers and you can also smell that like yeah, so like let's say it's a spring day and you smell that like spring air and I don't know. That's just, yeah, that's exactly what I smell. It's amazing. Smells good. Super strong. I actually like this myself, um, but it is for my husband for a gift uh, for Christmas. <laughs> he is going to get it tonight though um, because why not? He already knows what he's getting. He picked it out himself. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and sorry, I haven't been on in a while. Um, like I said, I've just been very busy. Uh, today we finally put our Christmas lights up. I know we're a little late on doing that. Christmas is literally in a week from now. Um, oh gosh, what else have I been doing? Um, I actually did end up testing positive for COVID a second time, literally just several days ago. Um, it was super scary. My mom, um, she's been in the hospital and she's been fighting it. Um, she's actually pretty bad. Um, 
I'm hoping, you know, I've been hoping and praying. Um, I've been keeping my head up that she gets better. Um, but yeah, she's been fighting that. And I was around her on the 11th of December because um, she went ahead and did an early Christmas um, for us. And my husband and I went down to her house. We stayed the night. Um, she wasn't feeling super bad then. She was like just fighting a cold and she what was no longer contagious. So, you know, we said we'd come down and just deal with it because we didn't think that we would get sick because um, she said she was no longer contagious. And it was bronchitis that she ended up with. Well, the next day um, after we leave, so that was December 12th, after we leave her house, she ends up feeling worse. Um, the day after that, she goes to the emergency room. She takes herself and yeah, they kept her there and they said that she tested positive for COVID. Well, I was like, oh shoot, I get sick super easily. I don't know if I have autoimmune disease. I've never been tested. I know my mom has autoimmune disease super bad. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a test. I work at a pharmacy now. I, you know, deal with prescription drugs on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I deal with patients that come in from the hospital. I work inside a hospital in a pharmacy. So <laughs> I am a, um, yeah, I work at a pharmacy and it's scary because I don't want a chance, you know, possibly having the COVID for a second time, even though I'm vaccinated, I found out that people can still get the COVID, um, that it doesn't matter. So at least that's what I've been hearing. I work in a hospital, so I'm hearing from, you know, surgeons and doctors and everything. Um, so I went and got tested at my work. We had an actual at-home kit there. I did it in front of everybody at work and it said I tested positive. So I had to leave, my work had to, yeah, clean everything after I left and I went home and I haven't been to work since. Um, yeah, I've been out since. They wanted me to take two um, negative tests in order to come back to work because they said maybe it's a false positive, which, I found out it was. Um, so thank goodness I did not end up with the COVID a second time. I thought I did because I'm not feeling any symptoms. Long story short, um, yeah, I went and got tested down at an urgent care. Um, the, what's it called? <laughs> Sorry, I can't think. It was a um, stat test. So where it's within 30 minutes and then they let you know right then and there that you're negative or positive. And then um, today I ended up getting tested as well. Um, the sec, you know, the day after yesterday, because that's what my work wants. Um, and it came back negative as well. So yeah, I am negative. I'm doing good. <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone has a great um, Christmas and a great New Year and, you know, New Year's Day. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and I will see y'all later.